All right, welcome back to our schedule release show. This is fun. The uh, Tennessee Titans social media group um, announcing their schedules. Apparently, they went around the, the streets of Nash Vegas there in Nashville <laughs> and asked a bunch of people to identify the team logo. And that's the way they would then reveal week by week which teams they're playing. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this, it. it it's, it's, not, it's not great for the human race, I'll be honest. <laughs> Check it out. Here we go. Hey, Lewis. Rams. Oh. Uh, Lionel McQueen. No. Oh, that's just the football. Okay. Just the football. No, no. Uh, okay. Boston Bobcats. No idea. No idea. Boston. Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. Boston. This one is the Red Stallions. Ah. Wow. 49 to 69 uh, No! 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 Stars. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's the Pirates. Um, from the islands of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Chester Cheeto. Chester Cheeto. <laughs> All right. Well done. What was that? That's the best part of the Tennessee Titans right there. What is that? Oh, the social media team. see. No, that's just you. Oh, the, what do you mean? Uh, come on, Mr. That was Chester funny. Cheeto. Salty, man. That, was, that was funny. Salty. That was funny. Oh, salty. <laughs> there. Oh, salty. That's just fun and gay. All right, here's our, uh, here's our schedule. We got oh. two games in London, two games in Germany. Uh, there's a triple header coming uh, up on uh, week 15, but week 16, we're definitely going to Denver. And uh, three games will be cold from these five. Ooh, depending on um, significance, I would imagine. So, there you have it. What do you think? I mean, that, I was, I'll be very honest with you. I was surprised that Dolphins Chiefs was removed from Arrowhead. Yeah, me too. I mean, Tyreek Hill going oh. back to Arrowhead would have been highly it's significant been action between him and the, the fan base, I would imagine. Or just, but I'm sure he'll, he still sees red. No doubt. No doubt. And, and that's one of those games where you when you look over, being in those games, you look over and you see your former team, you look over, you see your former coach, and you're like, yo, I'm about to tear you boys up. But after the game, we're going to shake and we're going to hug. But just know that it, it meant something to me, you know? So I, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm excited for that game to be in Germany, though, right? The, the league is trying to grow, right? We, we have three Munich games game in last year was unbelievable. It was, right. It was the, Unreal. It was the Seahawks and the, and the Buccaneers. Yep. Or the Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> of the Caribbean. But, um... I think, again, the more you start to put some of these marquee games out there, the, the bigger the game will grow. Yes. Uh, it's exciting to see that. I'm really excited about our network taking those games that are overseas, the international games. It's really important, right? The, the fan base of the Jags in London, get the Buffalo Bills there. Last year, Aaron Rodgers went, and, I mean, it was Packers everywhere, right? So, obviously, he's with the Jets now, but they're continuing to put those marquee quarterbacks, guys, in those situations to help grow the game. And our network gets to cover it, which is huge. We'll get more people... Uh, continue to watch and go. You see this here, because the Ravens game in London, if I'm not mistaken, that is their only um, single window game until they play the Bengals on a Thursday night. So the Ravens, I'm Look sure out. they're sitting around saying, where are their nationally televised games? In case you missed it, they signed Lamar and Odell. No doubt. That's going to be fun. We'll see if they Looking get flexed to into that. Gonna be beautiful. That'll be great. I know. The Ravens, uh, let's not sleep on them. Mm -mm. Just throwing that I'm out woke. there for everybody. I'm woke.